Hello my friends, uh, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with something so exciting, I wish I could even begin to explain it. Um, I am here with a massive haul, literally the biggest order I've ever placed at a single time with any company. And I've been diamond painting and shopping for two and a half years at this point. But you guys, I am over the moon. I am over the moon in this stack here. This is actually, this is like two kits deep all along here. Um, I have 20, 20 diamond painting kits I'm going to unbox and share with you all today. So um, these actually came to me from Jada Gem Shop. I bought them though. I said came to me like I didn't. I bought these myself. And uh, just to give you a sense, they're all in this amazing, amazing, amazing theme. This is my favorite easily. Um, but you guys, Jada Gem Shop has legally licensed this fan art, this princess fan art from an artist in the community. Um, now the artist's name is Mari945. And the way that this honestly started for me is that way back when I first started diamond painting, um, and I wasn't terribly familiar with the concept of licensing and what that meant and what the implications were, um, I remembered seeing these princessy kits on websites like Etsy and AliExpress, and I saw some people working on them, and I was like, I absolutely adore that artwork. I love everything about it. I want every single one in the collection. I'm obsessed. Now, luckily, I didn't actually buy any of those non-licensed images, um, and I shortly thereafter found out that, you know, what licensing is. I will have to say that this is the one collection of images that has tempted me the most over the years to break my ethics. And it didn't, it did not, and I'm really glad that it did not. Uh, but because I was just so in love th with this artwork and just thought there was no way that it would ever be licensed. Um, that the artist, well, I didn't even know who the artist was, to be honest with you. Otherwise I would have been like, I'm gonna find that artist and, and try sending them to various licensing companies and stuff like that, or diamond painting companies for licensing. Um, and so I was thrilled when I saw that Jada Gem Shop was adding a really lovely variety of fan art to their website. And the way that it works is that it's legally licensed from the artist and uh, the artist is not affiliated or associated with any other company that has large IPs, if that makes sense. Um, so just like we see lots of fan art that's very inspired, I'm thinking like Sarah Mustafa or Mandy Manzano, and we awfully, often see that artwork legally licensed by diamond painting companies. That's the umbrella that this falls under. So just in case, because I have a feeling I may get some questions about that. Uh, so that is kind of where that's coming from. But when I saw that Jade had licensed this artist and this artwork, I was immediately like, I've always said that if this artwork was ever licensed by a company, that I would want all of them. And I did. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited. Now, just to give you a really, really, really quick rundown about um, Jada Gem Shop specifically. So all of the artwork at Jada Gem Shop is licensed artwork, including this artwork. She is adding new selections of artwork to her shop literally about every single day. And the way that she does her kits is they are made to order. And this allows her to offer a really high level of customization. So you can basically uh, be picking out exactly what kind of kit you wanna work with. You can specify if you want, for example, like a crop of an image, because many of her images she offers crop options of. She also offers a huge variety of different sizes. And you also get to pick if you want round or square drills. I find the turnaround time to be really reasonable. Um, I believe that I ordered these less than a month ago and um, I ha now I have them in hand. So I think it was almost exactly a month ago I actually placed the order for these. It depends on when she's actually putting in an order with her manufacturer, um, but she lists her turnaround times on her website. So if you ever have any questions about that, be sure to double check there. She And she's also very responsive if you want to contact her and ask any questions 
at all. So I ended up getting this whole collection in the same size because my thought is that I'm gonna get a portfolio to put them in once they're complete. And so the smallest size that these were offered in was 40 by 60 centimeters. It was also important to me knowing that I was getting this whole collection that I have every single plan and intention of genuinely to complete. Um, I'm thinking maybe like one a month, one every other month. It might take some time, but that's really okay because I want to savor it. <laughs> but I, I want them to be able to just look consistent as I'm flipping through. I debated for a while if I wanted to get them all in the same drill shape, like all rounds or all squares. Ultimately though, I decided to get half and half. I thought this might be helpful for you guys for sake of comparison. I also knew that at least for some of these kits, I really wanted to get them with square drills so that I would get the maximum amount of detail this size. But I also wanted to mix in some round drills so that if I want kits that are gonna go faster, I have that option as well. So hopefully the not exact same <laughs> drill shape is gonna bother me, but I hope it'll be helpful for you guys actually. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is that my dear friend Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights ordered most of these kits as well, I believe, in the next size up, I wanna say 50 by 70. I think she ordered them in all square drills and she ordered hers with ABs. I did not get ABs with mine. So I'm gonna to link to her channel below. Um, I'm guessing she's gonna have her video up very soon because she ordered right away as well. Uh, if she doesn't already have it up by the time mine goes up. So please, please, please go visit her channel. You should subscribe to her anyway because her content is fantastic and she's a wonderful person. But please go subscribe to her channel so that you can, um, especially if you wanna see these kits in larger sizes and with ABs. So that said, I'm not gonna make you guys sit here while I unwrap all of these. I am going to just pause briefly here here. I'm going to get all these out of their packaging. So I want to show you each and every one of these canvases and the colors with them. Um, and I'll save one to actually unwrap with you guys so you can sort of see that process as well. So I will be right back. Okay, so that took a minute, but here we are. Um, all of the canvases have been unpacked. And I have the drills to show you as well, but I did save one to share just kind of the process of getting into with you so you know what to expect when you're opening a kit from Jaded Gem Shop. So they do come sealed in this plastic wrap. She deliberately wraps it pretty tightly so that um, it keeps your canvas from like really wiggling around and stuff like that. But you can peel that plastic cover off without too much fuss. And then rolled up in here, you're gonna find, I think this is new. I don't remember getting these with my past kits. I believe this is a pack of release paper, which if you want, you can peel back the plastic cover and actually the, actually replace that with release paper. Um, some people just prefer it to the feeling of the plastic cover, but that is an option that she is including now, it looks like. And then as you keep unrolling it, you're gonna find, uh, she includes a roll of jade green washi tape because <laughs> jade jade a gem shop and then we get an inventory sheet which um i think she is talking to them about maybe removing oh no she's not just talking about to them about getting rid of this plastic sleeve um you guys going forward we should start seeing sticker sheets and boxes from her. So those are some really fun upgrades that are coming from Jaded Gem Shop. Um, she had said that eventually, hopefully it'll be pre-cut sticker sheets, but she believes for now it's, it might not necessarily be pre-cut, but it will be an upgrade from the standard inventory sheet and your kit will come in a box as well. So um, mine, because mine was a bulk order and I actually live close enough to her that I went and picked it up. I was like, don't bother putting these in boxes. Let me just come get them. Like, let me just whatever is easiest and least stressful for them. And she actually ended up bringing them over to me. But anyway, all this to say, your kit will come in a box from her and it has a sticker on the end. Um, but the canvas and the materials and the diamonds, those have not changed at all. It's still the same supplier. They have just added sticker sheets and boxes boxes for her because she requested and has really worked with them to make that happen. Anyway, this paper inventory sheet is not a problem for me though because I'm going to cut this out and run this through a sticker maker that I have to create labels so that I can kit up these diamonds into storage containers easily and put the labels on the containers. So we have our symbol list here. And then the DMC color code, which is what most diamond painting companies do use is right here. And then of course the quantity is the number of each of these colors in this kit. Here's that original artwork. I'm actually gonna cut this out and put it in my paper log book because I like keeping the original artwork in there as well. Now this kit does have square diamonds. That's um, the drill shape I chose to go with for this particular kit. 
And so you have your two, we have two packs of diamonds and you're gonna notice that the model number that's on here is gonna match up with the same model number that's on the inventory sheet, the 451. 4060. And that is also going to be on the canvas, which let me go ahead and show you the canvas because I don't know about you. I'm dying to see her. So, ah, uh, she's gorgeous. Now, before you panic, if you're new to Jaded Gem Shop, you're like, that coloring looks off. Correct. It's supposed to. If you get a kit from Jade and choose to get square shaped diamonds, you are going to get a canvas from her that has this really neat photo negative effect. Now, I actually find this to be a really, really fun process, and I like that she does this because what it does is you get to then see the colors come to life over the canvas. Also, I think she told me they recently upgraded to a slightly thicker plastic cover, which is nice. Anyway, if you're curious to see this in action, I actually completed and did a, re a review, like a post completion review of a square drill shaped kit from Jaded Gem Shop, and it turned out beautifully. The reason that she does the photo negative effect as well, and the reason it doesn't matter, like that color isn't gonna show up behind the square diamonds, because square diamonds by nature cover up the entire symbol. Now that rolling didn't totally work because there's not a perfectly flat surface behind it. It's just a stack of canvases. But I did that to get rid of some of the um, the folds in the plastic wrap, which were not actual folds in the canvas. It's just how it was wrapped around the diamonds. So anyway, that's why if you're looking at this, you're going, oh, the colors on the canvas and the drill field don't look quite right. Please don't fret. I promise it's gonna turn out with these colors and look amazing like this. So here's that model number that I was telling you about that's also on the canvas. We have a legend here at the bottom for those 50 colors. Jaded Gem Shop does a jade green border around all of her canvases. At the top, you will see her branding, Jaded Gem Shop. There's links to her socials and her YouTube channel. Those are great places to stay up to date with her new releases and what she's up to in sales and stuff like that. And then at the top left is the information about the canvas. So this is 40 by 60 centimeters, which was the smallest size offered in these princess kits. The title of this piece is Have a Voice and the artist is Mari945. So I'll be sure to link to the artist's Instagram. The artist is absolutely thrilled that her artwork has been so popular. She didn't realize that people were going to be so excited to get their hands on it. And I'm hoping that you guys are gonna be a part of a second wave of that. So I'm gonna link to the artist's, um, like all of her artwork with Jaded Gem Shop. So you can take a look at all of these kits for yourself, but also please follow her on Instagram as well. So uh, if you look at the drill field itself, by the way, here's a look at what the symbols look like on the canvas. <laughs> Up close that, that face can be a little disconcerting, but uh, the symbols look like they're printed clearly. Those square shaped diamonds are gonna cover up the symbols completely. I love the lace effect that we have going on in these pieces. One of the things I really love most about this artist's collection. But yeah, like I said, symbols look to be printed really clearly. There's a mix of alphanumeric and non-alphanumeric symbols. We have a good amount of confetti in these pieces. Confetti is when you have like lots of color changes in a small area like here. You'll mostly be single placing your way through those areas and um, switching out the color in your tray pretty often, but that's gonna give you a nice level of detail. Jade uses um, some digital rendering with her canvases, but she goes in and does hand touch-ups on every single canvas and every render. So I like that she has that attention to detail, but it does tend to have a little bit like softer lines and a little bit more confetti. Um, can be kind of the vibe you're getting into. Uh, by contrast, there is a little bit of what we call color blocking. It's like in here. This is all that same symbol. You'll be able to multi-place in there and have that color in your tray for a while, which is great. So this is the first of these canvases. Again, again, the name of this one is Have a Voice and it has square diamonds. I went ahead and decided to alternate these uh, rounds and squares. So here's an example 
of a round drill canvas. The name of this piece is Find a Fit. All of the other elements of the canvas are gonna be exactly the same as far as the branding and the border, the legend at the bottom and everything goes. One notable difference you're gonna see between the round and the square drill canvases is that this is very true to color. This looks very much like the colors in the original artwork because with round drills, you are going to see the background around the round drills. They don't cover up that whole space on the canvas. And so it is a bit more important that the colors here match. Now, round drills are a tiny bit larger than square drills are. Square drills are usually 2.5-ish millimeters and round are usually around 2.7 millimeters. So they, you're gonna have just a little bit less of them in the same size canvas. So while this is 40 by 60 centimeters, just like the first kit I showed you, there are actually gonna be fewer diamonds on this canvas, but I'm hoping that it's still gonna translate really well. And I was really deliberate when I was going through the artwork actually to choose kits that I thought needed the help of the extra detail of squares. I made sure I got those kits with square drills um, or even just artwork. I thought, I think this is gonna look better with the effective square drills finished. And then other artwork like this, I thought, I think this is really gonna be okay in round drills. Um, just taking my best guess. You can totally disagree, but I thought it just would be nice to have a mix in here. But looking at the drill field on one of the round drill canvases, you can even see that the symbols are a little bit different. They're a little bit bigger. I think it's, you can tell that they're a little bit bigger but it's very much the same the same idea so now i believe in these princess collection kits i don't think that jade is offering crops i with the exception of one and i'll tell you when we get to it but i think that all of them it's just kind of this this full size um as is this kind of profile shot so this is find a fit this was number two Hopping backwards, I just realized that I forgot to show you the diamonds for the first kit. So um, I'm gonna show you the diamonds for each of these kits and also just let you see a little side-by-side -side comparison of like a square field, square drill field and the round drill field. You can really see the difference. But their skin tones are nearly identical in the original artwork, but look how different the drill fields look. Wild, right? Anyway, here are the drills or the diamonds that go with have a voice over here. So they're square diamonds. They're gonna come in bags like this and tell you if it's like one of two, two of two. And Jade, Jade at Gem Shop's drills, both round and square shaped, are resin. And I loved, loved, loved working with her square drills when I worked on the kit Asleep by Victoria Leal, which like I mentioned, I'm gonna to link to my post review of that kit so you can get a sense for like, oh, this is what a completed square kit from Jade to Gem Shop may look like. I love that her squares are really consistent in size and shape. I found there to be very, very little in the way of unusable drills, like no drills with like tabs sticking off the side and stuff. Now, occasionally with resin diamonds, you will sometimes see a little bit of what we call trash because that's the nature of resin. Um, things like you might see some diamonds with some holes in the top or something like that. The good news is Jaded Gem Shop provides plenty of extra drills, so you should not run out. If you were, however, to run out, you can contact her and I'm sure that she will get you taken care of. She has excellent customer service. So I'm not gonna show you all of the colors just for sake of time because we have, hello, 20 kits to get through today. Uh, but I did wanna at least give you a look at, here are the colors, this beautiful color spread for Have a Voice. Beautiful, love those reds. Her hair is going to be so gorgeous. And then our colors for Find a Fit. These also come in two bags. Here's the inventory sheet as well. Same as the uh, squares. This one has 53 colors. And here's the color spread for Find a Fit. Really pretty. These are round drills. I guess let me pull out some to show to you since this is our first round of round drills to look at. So I actually have not completed a kit from Jade yet with round diamonds, but they're also resin and they look really sparkly. I'm so curious to work with them though, because while I feel like typically uh, resin squares, you hear most people prefer resin to acrylic squares. 
I feel like rounds can be, I don't know, there's not as like uh, unified a consensus on round drills. Some people I feel like really like acrylic. Some people really like resin. Some people don't have a strong preference at all. So <laughs> anyway, there's some of those drills. They look good. I'm not seeing a lot of like trash or inconsistently shaped diamonds in there, anything like that. But yeah, there's that color spread one more time for find a fit. I did pull out the diamonds to show you for each canvas because I thought you guys might like seeing the colors, especially for the squares. Now, please don't panic. <laughs> please don't panic on this one, you guys. I admit when I unrolled this one, I initially was like, oh, oh no, oh dear. So let me show you this. Keep in mind, this one has square diamonds. We're seeing the photo negative effect. Here is what this original artwork is going to look like. So I think just how they did her eyes, it just looks a little bit creepy with the printing on the canvas, but I am confident that we're actually gonna have her with a much more uh, pleasant looking uh, colors going on with her eyes and much less scary. So the name of this, this piece is Kiss a Frog. So here you go, you could take a little look at it. Love her crown, her tiara here. I'm curious to see what colors have been selected for her skin tones because a lot of times these darker skin tones, there are not necessarily a ton of options available in the DMC and the shading can be tricky. And so I really, really hope that they've done this justice. Gorgeous. And there's that original artwork all in one place actually. Gorgeous, I love her hair so much. Now the colors here. Okay, so I see some browns, but you guys, I do see some red tones up here that that's a little bit on the pinkish red side. So um, I will be just really hopeful that this is charted well. I see some true browns in here as well. So I'm really, really gonna hope that they have done her skin tone justice. And um, Jade is really receptive to feedback. So if for some reason it doesn't turn out the way that it should. I will let Jade know. I'm sure she'll chat with her supplier and we'll try to make sure we get this. They'll try to make sure that they get this skin tone really on point. So this is Kiss a Frog. That's our third kit. This next one. Oh gosh, she is so pretty. This has round drills. So again, we're alternating here. The name of this piece is Refuse an Offer. And I love her big, gorgeous hair. Oh my gosh. And isn't her face so striking? <laughs> I feel like her hair takes up more of the frame than most of the other princesses do. Here's the original artwork. Since this has round drills, the drill field looks very much like it. It has a total of 50 colors. Here's our inventory sheet. And same deal here, paper inventory sheet. And then here's our color spread. Ooh, those are fun colors, you guys. Love those. That's our color spread. And these are round diamonds again. So fun. Still 40 by 60. Every single one of these is gonna be 40 by 60 centimeters. So, 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 so fun. Next up, this is kit number five. This is Bring a Chill. <gasps> love this. I love her outfit. A little bit different from her usual. Look at the flowers in her hair. I think it's springtime. This one has square diamonds, so we've got that photo negative effect. Like I mentioned, we'll see with those squares. But if you look up close, I feel like the colors are still a bit closer than <laughs> some of the others are. Her eyes are really striking. I picked to get this one. I picked square drills for this one because I thought there was a lot of detailing in like the details on her dress and in her hair and the shading and everything. I just really thought that having it in square drills would would kind of do it justice. So there's the original artwork from from Mari945. So 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 pretty. I wonder why this outfit. I wonder why this particular outfit, a little less well known. Okay, here's that really pretty color spread. Look at all those pretty and happy pastels. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love. Those are squares. Those are gonna be so nice to work with. So nice to work with. All right, so that was Bring a Chill. Now we have the absolutely lovely Take a Path. And she is a stunner. She has round shaped diamonds. 
Again, this really pretty lace pattern at the top, which I just love. And then the neutral gray background with some shading. Look at her pretty necklace. I bet that's gonna be so pretty. This would be interesting to see with ABs. Definitely go and check out Lindsay Emeralds and Fairy Lights video um, to see how the kits that she got, how those ABs have been placed. So take a path. We again have our inventory sheet. It looks like we have a total of 45 colors in this one. So number of colors I bet is determined more by the artwork than any sort of other arbitrary system. These are a little harder to see the colors on, but some really rich colors here in the bottom bit. Love that. So that is take a path. Next up, oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites, choose a fate, isn't her hair. What is that about like these kits that like their hair is one of my favorite parts. I love, love, love this artist style and think that she did such a good job. I love how she has drawn these princesses and I cannot wait to see them translated to diamond painting form. Here's the original artwork. <laughs> I love how many shades of red and orange are we going to have and then these hopefully some rich greens in her dress so choose a fate let me grab the colors to show you again a total of 43 colors <gasps> look at those reds and oranges <laughs> gorgeous love I just, you guys, I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. <laughs> I am so, 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 so absolutely over the moon. Next up, gosh, gosh, what an underrated gal. She's so pretty. This is Find a City. And oh, she is a princess. She doesn't have a crown, but she is totally a princess love i bet those blues are going to be beautiful i hope that those blues like in her eyes and her makeup and the gold here i hope that's just gonna pop i'm imagining like ooh, could i bling this a little bit those spots it would be so easy to pick the spots like the yellow and the blue here to add a little bit of extra sparkle to i bet it would be just just gorgeous so find a city this one has round diamonds and here's if you're curious the original artwork beautiful and then we have our colors two bags again you can see the blues kind of hiding in there so fun but yeah i wanted to get the whole set even the ones that might not be personal favorites of mine though actually i do really love her um i thought it would be so fun to just um get to get to enjoy every single one of these princesses. So next up we have, have a bite. Oh my gosh, she's adorable, adorable. Now this one has square diamonds, so that photo negative effect yet again. Here's the original artwork, how cute. I wish I could pull off a pixie cut. <laughs> again, imagining like a little bit of extra ABs and like the apple and maybe the bow in her hair. That ivory, ivory skin is going to be, oh my gosh, just, just lovely, I have no doubt. And as far as colors go, perfect. Blues and reds and of course some lovely neutrals for her hair and whatnot. Square drills look good. That is kit number nine. Next up, we have take a rest take a rest this gorgeous beauty has a uh, round drills again you can really see when when the kit has round diamonds you can really see the lace diamonds that color contrast between the gray background and the white lace um, that just is so beautiful and is captured so well pink dress long flowing locks it looks like we're gonna have 41 colors in this kit and there's our original artwork. Beautiful. Still 40 by 60. They're all 40 by 60. And here is our color spread. This I feel like could have fit in one bag actually. I wonder, wonder why. I wonder how they decide how many to put. Some pretty golds. And some pinks and blues. Sorry if those aren't showing up super well. But there we go, those round diamonds. We are halfway through these kits, halfway through. 
<laughs> Are you guys having fun yet? <laughs> Next up, this is the absolutely adorable Have an Attitude is the title of this piece. Now, remember how I mentioned that all of the uh, all these pieces have kind of the same cut? This is the exception, I believe is the only exception, where we have the half body, which I went with to preserve the consistency across the boards. They were all 40 by 60 and everything. But this one, the artist actually also had, or I think had originally drawn as a full body as well. So you have the choice of getting it in a full body, more panel style if you want. There's the original artwork. Better look at how those colors are going to turn out. Since this has square drills and that photo negative effect. And here's our color spread. Look at those yellows and greens, of course, of course of course some pretty skin tones in there as well. I like the colors that I'm seeing for skin tones so far. It makes me optimistic for how that's gonna turn out. So this was Have an Attitude. Next up, the title of this one is Explore a Bit. This one has brown diamonds. Love it. I could not pull off puffy sleeves, but she does, she does. I do, however, rock the bun hair quite often. <laughs> it is really fun to see the round drill kits because I think it gives you a really nice sense for, okay, this is, this is what the colors are really gonna look like. This one has that green background, which I think is so pretty. And here's the colors. So you can see those greens and yellows, the yellows in her dress, of course. So cute. I love her facial expression. She just got the cutest little pout and uh, so adorable. So this one is Explore a Bit and this one's with round diamonds. Next up, another one whose eyes took me a bit aback when I first unrolled her. This is Take a Flight. Are you noticing a pattern with the format of the names on these kits? I think it's honestly really cute. Um, take a flight and this one has square diamonds so don't panic. Here is the original artwork for you. This one has kind of that uh, purple like a lavender background and you can see those you still see those nice lace details up at the top of course. Again, imagining like a little bit of maybe metallic or something here in her earrings or some extra glitz up here in her headpiece. But here's the actual colors. Much, much more suited to this artwork than the printing on the drill field. But lots of purples for that background and some skin tones and of course some gorgeous aquas and blues and teals. Love. All right, so that is Take a Flight. I don't even remember what number we're on. Is that 12 or 13? <laughs> Here we have Take a Stand. Oh my gosh. Again, love the background color. We've got like a more emerald background color. Her eyes are so striking. I love how this artist has captured facial expressions and the hair and the outfits. I like that they're all kind of like upper half of the body. Um, I think it just, oh, I'm in love. I have been in love with this artwork for over two years and I cannot believe that I finally own it <laughs> and it's licensed. I can feel really good about how I'm supporting the artist, which is what I am all about. Here are the colors, by the way. These are rounds. We have round diamonds here. Some really pretty pinks and purples, and of course some darker colors for her hair. And again, 40 by 60. <laughs> now we have Be a Queen. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. This one has a lot more greens and yellows in it. Here's the original artwork for you. Kind of a grayish green background on this one. And again, more of a springy outfit, I think but I think this is gonna be so pretty. I love seeing the, the colors really come to life over the photo negative printing on the canvas. It reminds me of working on a mystery kit. Um, like a lot of mystery kits come in black and white and it's a similar feeling, it's a similar effect. So here are our colors and these are gonna be in her dress. We have a total of, let's see, 48 colors in this one. All right, so that is Be a Queen. She is, she is. 
Next, this is Take an Army. Gosh, she's gorgeous. You hear me say that a lot, but I swear I mean it every single time. This one has round diamonds. So we're seeing that image really well. But here's the original artwork. And it has 50 colors. I really love that Jade works with her designers to um, really try to get a good render on the original artwork. She doesn't release artwork in sizes that she doesn't think are going to work uh, just for the sake of it, you know? So I appreciate that so much. She has example digital renders on the website. When you choose the size and or the crop that you want, It'll give you just a rough sense of how it's going to turn out the level of detail you're going to get. So I really appreciate that about, about Jaded Gem Shop. I think we just have, let's see, is that four more to go? I think so. So that would be number 16. Next up, the title of this adorable piece is called, it's called Lose a Mind. We have a little bit more of a grayish lavender background. This one has squares square drills because I just wanted to get a little bit more detail captured on this one at the size so there's the original artwork you can see what the actual colors are going to be the artist's style of drawing eyes too it's like the eyes the hair like all those little details I feel like are really really doing that artwork justice um, and are just so so dreamy and pretty to look at here we've got the colors for this one so of course we have some purples for the background and then some yellows and blues and of course some white for the bunny there we go so that was lose a mind now we have find a love this one i was a little surprised to see included in the series but i'm also not mad she is wearing a dress <laughs> pinks this is gonna have lots of pinks i'm sure She's so cute. I love her big blue eyes. We've got a blue background going on. This one has round diamonds, but here's the original artwork still so you can see it. This one has 43 colors. And I think we just have the one bag for this one. I think this is the only kit that they fit all the diamonds into one bag. So here are the colors. Of course, some pinks for her dress and the the flowers in her hair. I was like, flowers, butterflies? No, I think they're flowers. So pretty. This is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one to work on because I love pink. I love the pink. <laughs> now we have another of my favorites in the series. This is Brush a Dot, Brush a Knot, and has square diamonds. There's that photo negative effect again. And her hair, her hair and her dress, I love. Here's the original artwork so you can see and truly appreciate how perfect she is. Her green eyes, that dress, that hair. Oh, I love, I love. This one has 56 colors. Ooh, this might be the most. Is this the most of the colors that we're gonna have in this, in this series? There were a couple I forgot to check, but maybe, maybe. Speaking of that color spread, we have some amazing pinks and purples and some yellowish oranges, more pinks, more purples. Definitely one that I got in square in part because I was like, I want the extra detail with this one. I think it calls for it, but also just because she's one of my favorites. So I decided to get my favorites in square. <laughs> so this is Brush a Knot. Last, last but not least, you guys, this is read a book and the style that this has been drawn in is just, it just like really captures your attention. It feels like she's just staring straight into your soul. Uh, here's the original artwork. More of that muted gray background, a little bit of a grayish blue background. I'm hoping that the round drills will work in this one for the size like that lace up at the top again. It's such a nice contrast, such a nice contrast. This kit has a total of 42 colors. So maybe the fewest in the bunch, I'm not sure. Two bags of diamonds here, actually a lot of shades of bluish gray in here, just for that background, I'm sure. And then some skin tones and of course the yellows and golds for her dress. So this was number 20 and the title on this one is read a book. 
You guys, that is this mass haul unboxing from Jada Gem Shop of 20 princesses, all that are currently available from the artist Mari945. This fan art is absolutely stunning. It is above board and I am so thrilled, so, so unbelievably thrilled that I get to enjoy this, this artwork as diamond paintings guilt-free and that I waited. I'm really glad that I did not support stores that are stealing from artists. It was, it was really worth it. And I'm thrilled that Jade has licensed from this particular artist. And I'm really, really hoping and crossing my fingers that she might even do some more in this series, especially given now that she's realized how popular this artwork is, especially for diamond painters and how much we would really love to see even more. So you guys, these are all currently available on Jaded Gem Shop's website. A couple of things I just wanted to recap in case you skipped through, through the video and missed a couple of important things I wanted to mention. So you get to really customize exactly what you're getting from a kit as far as you get to pick the size, the drill shape. Sometimes there are various crops available, though almost all of these kits are just available in this one crop, I believe. Um, I might be wrong about that. <laughs> I am uh, certainly going to be working on all of these kits over time so that I can be showing them to you and collecting them in a portfolio completed and whatnot. And uh, you can kind of see the difference between how they're turning out with round and square diamonds as well. Orders going forward, Jade has said should have uh, should be coming in boxes and should also have sticker sheets now for your labels, for your containers. Um, going forward, hopefully within the next couple of months, those sticker sheets will actually be pre-cut, but they may not be pre-cut right now. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to mention is that Jade is regularly adding new artwork to her shop. I think her personal goal, personal goal is to list four new kits per day. And so I'm literally checking back every day. The best suggestion that I have, because I do think she has a lot of artwork available, she's working on trying to find ways to kind of organize it so that it's a little easier um, to navigate and not miss artwork, but you can filter by specific artist. I also recommend just checking in regularly and when you go to like all diamond painting kits, I always click sort newest to oldest. And so any of the most recently added kits are going to pop up at the top and so I can kind of scroll through until I've reached the point that um, I've, I know that I've seen these kits before. So I think she's also working on a wish list feature. So. Um, she is a small shop. She's literally doing this all herself. I think that she's killing it and hustling super hard and signing some incredible artists um, and really, really working hard to put out a really high quality product. She compensates her artists incredibly well. And I've been really happy with the quality on the products that I've unboxed and completed from her. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna link to my post review of the kit Asleep from Jada Gem Shop and Victoria Leal. It has square diamonds and was an absolutely magical experience to work on. And I think turned out just breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking and stunning <laughs> as completed. Uh, so please go take a look at that if you wanna see um, what a completed kit actually looks like from from Jade. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this this haul style unboxing where we looked at every single one of these kits together. I had just an absolute blast. I'm so happy. I have no idea which I'm going to start with, but I am going to plan to work on one definitely at least in December for the Diamonds and Disney event that um, my friend Christiane is co-hosting. I am blanking on the name of her co-host and I am so, 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 so sorry. I will link to the announcement video and to both hosts' social media platforms if you want to take a look. It's a licensed event, I believe, or its license is suggested and encouraged, but any of these kits would qualify for that particular event, I believe. So go and check out her announcement video though, so you can get some more details. All right, my friends, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe. I would really love to have you as part of my community here. There's a button just over here. You can click to subscribe and there's also a bell if you'd like to be notified each time I post new videos, which includes unboxings, um, small shop hauls, reviews, whip and chats, all the things. And I try to share it all with you. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if so. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.